leptospirosis has been a problem for many decades. But as we all know, it is largely seasonal. But over the years, with climate change, with the, all the extensive floodings that we have, we now get more people getting infected without having the risk factors for leptospirosis. We started a program for the prevention and control of leptospirosis here in the Philippines. From 2010 to 2015, we were supported by Japan International Cooperation Agency, uh, which provided the renovation of the laboratory facilities that we have now. And uh, Japan Science and Technology supported scientists from Kyushu University and the Chiba Institute of Science who collaborated with us. And uh, at the local level, we have the Department of Science and Technology and the Philippine Council for Health Research Development uh, that supported our R&D work here. Of course, we have to also tackle the issue on preventing leptospirosis, usually through um, health campaigns or um, information dissemination. It is not only spread by rats or during floods, but it can also be spread by other animals like dogs and other livestock animals. After the proof of concept uh, results with the hamster model, we have to move on to a small animal clinical trial and we probably will start with the dogs. After all, we're envisioning that they will be the market because dogs are very, very <laughs> but susceptible. And we believe that a lot of the human cases also come from dogs, not just from plants contaminating the environment and environment infecting. Even from the environment, we get the human infection.